Hello Aquarius, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angel spirit guides and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on for you. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. The Three of Wands. The Eight of Wands. And the Six of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We will pull more in a minute, but we're going to start here. I'm going to be honest with you. I do kind of feel like with this Eight of Wands and this Three of Wands energy being here, I feel like you're receiving some kind of communication from a person here. And some of you guys could have been waiting on this. Like some of you guys, this is something that you really wanted. And there's, I feel like initially you kind of can't help but feel a little bit happy to hear from this person. But I do feel like pretty quickly, Aquarius, I feel like pretty quickly you realize that really nothing has changed here. Okay. Um, and we're going to get more into this in a second, but I do kind of feel that, especially with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like some of you guys really did wait on this, and I feel like instantly, like, you see this person's name pop up on your phone, and you're like, you know, you light up a little bit, but then it doesn't take very long in this conversation to kind of, like, see where it's going, okay, to see that something really just hasn't changed. But we're going to go ahead. Some of you guys, they could even want something from you here, okay? And I feel like it's just a huge letdown, but let's see what else we have here. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. I definitely feel like this is a past person, somebody that you guys have had an ending with. We have the Seven of Wands. The Fool. And the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I do kind of feel here with this. You got two sevens here. I feel like this does bring up a lot in you. Two sevens to me usually indicate that there's a lot going on within, whether it's like mentally, emotionally, there's just a lot going on inside. So I do feel like hearing from this person, it brings up a lot. You, know, you, can't, you, can't, you kind of can't help but initially feel pretty happy, but it, it instantly just puts you in your head. You know, you're receiving this message from them, but you're starting to see that nothing has changed here. We got this devil energy right underneath that, okay? So there's something about this person or this connection that's just been very unhealthy. I think you were hoping, we got the star card here. I would think you were hoping that things were going to be different. Star card, six of wands here. I'm covering them up because of the nudity. Um, you know, I think you were really hoping that, you know, Things can be different this time. This person's probably had some realizations or they made some changes. Maybe it could work, but ultimately, ultimately, it just looks like you have the strength. You have the world. We have the three of swords here. It doesn't take you very long to realize that nothing has changed. And I think it's just really hurtful. It's really disappointing because I, I just feel like you were really wishing and hoping for something different. Some of you guys are going to put a close to this for good. You have the seven of wands. It's a card of like not settling it's a card of standing your ground okay you know i feel like somebody here could want you to take a chance with this stuff with this full card being right next to it they could want you to take a chance on them they could want you to kind of like put your guard down let them back in take another you know chance but i feel like you're seeing it as something that's too risky you're seeing it as something that's too risky so somebody's reaching out wanting to have a new beginning here with you but I feel like it's not too long before you're realizing that they want something with that Six of Pentacles energy with the Seven of Swords. The Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords came right out on top of each other. So, you know, I don't feel like they're being honest about what they what they were really after or what their real intentions are. I do feel like for a lot of you guys, they want something. Some of you guys, it could be help with something, a place to stay, finances. They're just wanting or even just wanting to feed on your energy. Um, 
and you can see it whatever this is you see it right away you see that nothing has really changed here i do feel like it does feel you know very disappointing but at the same time i feel like it's a confirmation for you you have multiple tens here you got the ten of cups at that bottom you have the ten of swords for a lot of you guys that ten of cups coming up i feel like your friends and family don't like this person anyways um i like i feel like a lot of people would be upset if you took this person back in not that that is, you know, what you're basing your decision on, but I also feel like that. And I feel like this is because maybe they, they see things too. I feel like you guys have a very big, beautiful heart and you're very forgiving and understanding. So sometimes when we're very understanding of a person because of things that maybe they've been through in their past, maybe they had like a traumatic childhood with that devil, that ten of cups energy here as well. You know, it's easier for us to justify things or, you know, make excuses for people and their behavior. And I feel like maybe because you guys have such big, beautiful hearts, maybe you guys have, you know, justified or made excuses for people's behavior where the other people around you, your friends or family, um, you know, see things a little bit differently. But with these two tens here, I definitely feel like maybe this is the closure and the confirmation that you needed. Some of you guys could have been not able to move forward fully with this three of wands. Um, you know, not fully able to move forward and open up to something new because there is a part of you that was still really holding on to hope for this. And so sometimes I feel like this is coming kind of back in for you guys in order to have that confirmation that you needed so that you can fully close something out and start to move forward. Because I definitely feel like you don't trust this person. And I think you're really looking at like, is this kind of, is this something, a connection that I even want to be in? Do I really want to start something back up again where it's, it's going to be just like it was before? And I feel like you don't. Okay. But that is what I have for you. I do hope that it helps. Now, if it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements, everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.